So I've now exported that information and we're ready to talk about the next stage. And that next stage is somebody remotely, either with a remote device, uh, such as a mobile phone or tablet, and this is my Android device, but it could also be a web page. So you have got the choice of what to do at that stage. So I'm going to um, also at this stage, uh, I'm just going to open that project again that we're going to look at so we can also understand what it is that we're looking at when we see that on screen. So I'm going to go back now to my um, mobile device and uh, I'm going to I've already got the icon so you can go to the Play Store in Android the um, App Store in uh, for iPhones and tablets and the Windows Phone Store uh, for to get and if you search for site progress you'll find this icon you install it there's no uh, cost to that and it's the it's the buying of that um, rental annual rental of this when you buy this you've exchanged some money with us uh, to to get to that stage so that's already paid for i remember i've already sent this to the guy remotely so the guy remotely when after they've installed the app the very first time they use it you've got you're asked to put in that information so um so you could lose your phone and you could just download it and put it in another phone so um so if you remember i was and this is i've exported it for me so i need to um put myself in here but it's whoever you sent this information to uh, i can't even spell my own name today i'm new to android so the finer arts of doing it are still being developed um, so when i log in um, if there's anything waiting for me in the cloud, it's going to be presented there. So you can see that I've got two uh, projects that are waiting for me and Fallen Meadows is the one that I've got open on screen. So I just tap on that and I get to see all the summary bars that have got some activity within it that is going to need attention. So there's two there. Uh, and if I look at site establishment, then we're looking at all of the tasks here in this drop down list. These are all of the tasks cor that correspond to the, the tasks on the left over here uh, that are going to fall in my um, mustard stripe or my blue stripe. So if it's in the if it ends in the mustard stripe, it's going to have a red cross. So we should have done it uh, if it is uh, split by the. Um, if it's split by that activity then we would um, be uh, doing it in the blue period and if it's split by the blue period sticking outside of that then it's something that would have the, the tick mark and the uh, the other color so we choose an individual task uh, and this is giving us some information already about what we've said before so we said that it was it's planned to be 100% complete, so we should have finished it because it's in the um, mustard stripe. Last time you told me it was only 50% complete, so I want you to down here tell me uh, either what's finished or what the percentage is now uh, and what the remaining duration might be. So, uh, so we've got these options to play with, and we can we can move the slider with a in, in increments of 5%. Uh, and if that's not accurate enough, you can tap on the uh, where the 75% is and you could say, well, we've done 82.5 or uh, any any other figure. Or it will only show you up to uh, integers inside the circle. But that means that we've got 2.1 days remaining, but we're going to still uh, need three days to finish it. So we could we could do that or we could say, well, no, the whole thing's been finished and uh, we actually finished it. And, and so we should have done it on the 24th. Maybe we did it a day earlier. Maybe we finished it on the 21st. So um, so we can record actuals. And as well as actuals, what we can do is we can keep notes. So here's that list of um, 
excuses that I typed in as a quick pick list. So I can say, well, we had a problem with wind, but we, it didn't really matter. Or in this case, I can click on other and we can just type something. So we can type um, last week of work went very well. So uh, and that's easier to do on a keyboard than it is to do on a uh, pecking on a phone. So um, unless you've got a phone with a little microphone and you can talk to it. Uh, and it will translate. But the other thing you can do is you can take a photograph. So if you if you tap on this icon here, as you'll see in a minute, it will lead to the um, camera on the phone. So if I tap on that icon, uh, it leads to the camera. So I've all, if I've already um, taken some photographs, I can recover them from my um, photo gallery here, or I can I click on this icon and to take a new photograph and that's what I'm going to do now so we're going to take a new photograph uh, and I'm going to take it of my screen so you can see that it's happening in real time although that's a never-ending uh, sequence of uh, images that we've just caught by looking at ourselves more than once uh, and then we can say okay at the top that we're going to accept that or we're going to retry and take another photograph and then we can go back to we can take um, uh, up to 10 photographs per task per session and it tells me there that I've got one photograph attached I can have 10 attached to each task each time I do it um, and and I've done everything about this individual task so now I can go on to the the next task in the list and say well uh, for reduced level we should have done 85 uh, percent we've only done uh, 75 percent maybe uh, and it's going to take us four days to finish that. And uh, we've had a little problem with uh, some subcontractors. And then we're going on to the next. Hour. So it's, it gets a little, little bit laborious at this stage. Um, you just got to go through each task in turn uh, and record it. But that's quite right. Well, we haven't done anything to trial pits. Two, we're uh, trial analysis. Uh, well, that's gone better than expected because even though we should only be 50% complete, we have finished that and uh, we should have finished it on the first, but in fact, we finished it on the 26th. So we've done a really good, um, uh, we haven't done that because we didn't start it till the 27th. So, so it only took us a day to do that. So we've been working on that and we click on save and that information is now uh, safe on the phone. We could close the app, it'd still be there, but if we go up a level by clicking on the folder, we can go back to where we came from and we can look at the substructure element, but all that's in there is the piling and, and we haven't yet started that. So so we've done everything we should have done. So it's, it's Friday afternoon, we've done everything we should have done. How do I send it back to the center? I click on the three little dots here, though it is different in the Windows app and the iPhone app. Um, there's a little cloud with an up arrow and you click on submit, and you need internet connection at this time, and that's going to go back from this phone uh, to uh, the cloud at the center. So I've only got one project in my list at this time. Um, but of course, if you remember, Ben was also uh, involved in that project. He had a task to do. So I'm going to log in as Ben on the website here. And there it lists all the projects that Ben has been assigned. So if he clicks on that, we get it in a web page. You get, you get more of a sort of tabular spreadsheet layout. Uh, and so we can, again, say by dragging this or by typing here now, you've got a bit more information. You can put actual start and finish dates in. You can put days remaining. You can put, um, you can put notes in as we did before. Uh, and it's easier to type in that. And if you've got pictures downloaded, obviously you haven't got a camera, you can upload pictures. So so we can save that. We might as well go straight to submit because there's only one thing to do. Um, and so, so Ben's work is finished. He's updated. There's nothing left for him to do. Uh, and everything's gone on this phone in relation to this project for uh, Fallen Meadows. But there's still another project I want to talk about. And that was the housing project, if you remember. 
Uh, and that's because there is this extra mode of operation called a tick sheet mode. So if I look at Wrexham Park, um, and the construction um, folder, there are a couple of tasks here that do not have a plot number associated with them. So the demolition and remediation are in this list because they do not have a plot number. So it's just like you've seen before, and that's what we call the turnaround document, the turnaround way of updating information. So that's where you do not have a uh, plot number in that special user defined field associated with this and act, uh, activity codes from the build stages library assigned. So we're going to say that both of those, both the demolition and the remediation, are both 100% complete. But I'll go to the tick sheet now, which is for those items that have got something in the plot number column and have got entries from the build stage library. Um, and the headings here, so this is everything to do with plot number 10. So, uh, and this is a short heading, so we've got block beams. So we should have done block beams and we should have done drains, but if we had been doing uh, first lift brickwork, we'd be just in that, we'd just be in this little uh, process here. So if I perhaps can draw that on screen. So, so uh, we're up to this point here, which so is slightly into the first lift brickwork, and that's why it's got the uh, green exclamation mark. Um, so if I say, well, we've done, we've done drains, if I click on that, it's also done the block beam. So we can, we can take both of those things uh, at the same time. So that's what the auto tick uh, means in the um, in the settings uh, and if I click on here we can add notes to individual um, build stages so we could say there was a bit of wind at that stage uh, and we could take a photograph on that individual build stage and then we go on to the next plot so this is in the order in which they're drawn uh, on screen ordered on screen so in this particular case we'd be ahead of ourselves if we were doing any drains so we, we're up to that stage there and maybe we've just started we've done 25 percent of the drains although some people don't uh, progress a stage unless you've done a hundred percent of it but we, we can do that in power project so again you know we're going to say for 32 and 35 you know we've done we've done these two stages uh, and and so it goes but this is a lot easier than individual tasks and having loads of them. So this is a very familiar phase called the tick sheet phase uh, of a project which is organized in this way. So we're at this stage now where we've filled up the, we've added the progress values, we've put notes and pictures, we've updated it on the go 